For the shortcut menu for derivatives and integrals, we press alpha and then the window key for the F2 function. First, we'll do the derivative, which is option 3. And let's take the derivative of 5x squared minus 7x. So it's the derivative with respect to x. And then here it scrolls over automatically to the function. So let's enter 5x squared minus 7x. Scroll over. We want to find the derivative at the point x equals 2 and press enter. The answer is 13. We can do the shortcut for the integral. Press alpha and then window and then 4 for fn int. Now the lower bound will be 0. Scroll up to the upper bound for 3. And then if you do not want to enter this function again, capture the last derivative function by scrolling up, pressing enter. And this way you can strip the derivative parts away by just scrolling to the left. Actually in this case it might have been easier to re-enter everything there. But I made a mistake, just you know, insert the 5, so we have the 5x squared minus 7x, and then scroll all the way over, and we want differentiable with respect to x, and enter. Normally it would have been a shortcut to do this. If you have a very long polynomial equation, you do not want to enter it again. Just go up, capture it, and strip off the derivative elements of it, and then you can easily put it into the integral format and find the definite integral.